Hey guys, I got the new Gala Collection Pack, Kooky, and I was going to unbox it today. So, let's jump right in to the box and packaging. So, so we got the large Z, um, Z card, V card, sorry, um, of Zekane, Z, with Brave Blade, which does 230 damage. And, um, this Pokemon can attack on the next turn after it uses that. Ugh. We have Sobble with Pound for 10 damage and Water Gun for third, uh, 20. Yeah. And it has so many health. We have Skull Bunny with also 70 health, with Tackle and Flare, which do the same amount of damage of Flare doing 20 and Tackle doing 10. And then we have the boy himself, Gooky, who does nothing except for 30 damage with a branch poke, so I'm not, gonna, not too sure how I'm going to build him into my new deck. You also get this cute little Gooky pin. Only comes with the Gooky pack, sadly. So if you get Skull Bunny's pack or the Soul pack, you'll get a pin of them. And now we have four booster packs with one Cosmic Eclipse, one Unbroken Bombs, another Cosmic Eclipse, and an XY Evolutions pack. We'll probably start with the Evolutions pack because, you know, it's the last one in my hand and it's the one I'm most familiar with because I kind of phased out during these next two kinds of packs. So, I'm not exactly up to scratch with them, to say the least. We have a Fighting Energy, which is okay. We have Staryu with Quick Blow, 10 damage, flip a coins if has this attack does 10 more damage, simple enough. Tangler, which is pretty cool, one of my favourites. He has bind for 20, and if you flip heads, your opponent becomes paralysed. And poison powder, which does 3 damage and then poisons your opponent, so it's pretty good. Um, Radita, its ability, Mischievous Fang. When you play with Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may discard all training tool cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. This is good because tool cards are very pesky, and discarding them is a very useful ability. Um, got Weedle with String Shot, which does damage. Oh, it's Poison Sting, sorry. Okay, if you get heads on this attack when flipping a coin, it becomes poisoned, so and does turn damage, so pretty good. Um, we have the D Evolution Spray, which is a trainer item. De evolve one of your highest poke. De evolve one of your evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card on it into your hand. That Pokemon can't evolve this turn, and you can play as many items as you want. So this could be used if you have a card that you don't want dying, that was your only form. Like if you ran an electric deck and you had an Electabuzz and you had three Electids but you didn't want your one Electabuzz to die, you'd use this after you had evolved Electabuzz, um, Elected into an Electabuzz and you get an Electabuzz back, so. Um, I got the Pidgeot Spirit Link. Um, all it does is um, doesn't end your turn if you Mega Evolve. We have Polygon with 60 health. It has Conversion 3. Choose a, any energy um, type. The defending Pokemon's weakness is now that type until the end of your next turn. So it doesn't change how much weakness it has. So if it's t two times, it won't change that. 
it will just change from being, say, steel to being glass if you choose glass. And we have a uh, full heal. Remove all special conditions from your active Pokemon. Pretty useful, because, you know, you get poisoned and paralyzed and put to sleep a lot in this game. And now for the final card. Oh my god, guys. It's a Mewtwo EX. I wasn't expecting on these to be, say the least, but, you know. Thank you, boy Grookey. Um, it has 180 HP, uh, a nice little shine, and it has energy absorption. Attach an energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon, which would be useful for its Cyburn attack, way down at the bottom, because you need one um, Psychic, which, as long as you have that, you can also use Regenerate, which heals 60 damage. Considering those people couldn't do over 60 damage unless they've got a final form or stage 1. Uh, this is pretty useful. And if you use energy absorption, you just get 3 more normals and you literally are nearly invincible. So, um, Mewtwo is definitely the card from that pack that kind of topped this all off for us. And we'll probably be going into my deck that I'm going to make mainly around this box that I'm opening, which I'll get another video on you for. And, um, just for Pete's sake, let's put our boy up there on the mantelpiece that is me at the moment with the pin. So yeah, good keep in. Good for you. Mm -hmm. And we just have our normal thing. That you always get. And now we're going to go for a one cosmic eclipse with um, Palkia and Dialga and the god, apparently. These cards do like sticking to the back pack, don't they? Well, we have Onyx with 110 health. It has Dig Deep, put an energy card from your discard pile into your hand again. This would be very useful with Mewtwo with its energy absorption. And Tail Smash for 100 damage. Flip coins. If it tails, this attack does nothing. Okay, that may have just killed it a bit. Made it a bit less fun to work with. Just a little, not that much. Then we have Tepig with Live Call for 10 damage and roll out for 40. No special effect. And then we have Alolan Sancho, which is good because I love Alolan Sancho and I love normal Sancho, so now I can put the two in a deck. And it has one round where I can switch this, it's essentially switch, where I switch this to a bench Pokemon. And I don't require energy to do so, because it's one of the blank energies, where it is just a circle with nothing inside. And Melkor for 20, which is why it's a steel type, obviously. Bit surprised you didn't put it as a water type, though, considering it's a ice type now, and, you know... Essentially, all ice types are classified as wood at this point in the game. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got Snorlant. This proves my point. Snorlant, ice type, is put classified as wood. It is continuous headbutt. Oof, that would hurt. No wonder it turned into a giant ball. Flip a coin till we get tails. This attack does 20 damage for each head. So this is like a Sphere's Ball Roll for my other deck that you guys haven't seen yet. Which I'll be showing to you. And Sphere will probably be in this deck as well. And these two are probably like, you know, going to be the best things. Because you just like obliterate entire things with that. Um, we have Drillbo. Very useful. It's got a little shine to him. He's a Rot Rototilla. I think I'm saying that correctly. Shuffle all cards from your discard pile into your deck. 
Oh my god, guys, this would be awesome to go with Mewtwo. Mewtwo dies, just use that, and he's back in the game. And he's got Mudslap, 10 damage, so. I got Heliosk. Something I'll never use, because I don't have the Pre-Assessor, and I hate it. Power Bullet Counter. 30 plus damage for one energy. If your opponent has any lightning Pokemon in play, this attack does 90 more damage. What the hell? You could one-shot, essentially, nearly any electric Pokemon with that move, because they don't have the best health compared to that. And he has Zap Kick for 80, but I think with one energy to use Power Bullet Counter against the three for Zap Kick, I would rather Power Bullet Counter. We um, then have a Fairy Energy, nothing more to that. We have Absol, first Dark of this pack, with um, 100 health. Ominous news, discard a special energy for more of your opponent's Pokemon. So, if people still play Plasma Pokemon, like I occasionally do with my Thundos in my other deck, they got from the Thundos team, you could discard Plasma energies from that Pokemon, so that its effect's pretty much useless. And it has a dirty throw for the 70 damage. Discard a card from your hand. If you can't discard a card, this attack does nothing. So, 70 damage with a throwaway card, that's kind of like the present thing. We have Flareon uh, with its ability Power Cheer. This attack, the attack of your Pokemon GX in play that evolved from Eevee, do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, you apply this before weakness and resistance, and you can't play more than one at a time, but you need it to be a Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, etc, etc, EX, that evolves from Eevee, so Sylveon, Espeon, anyone that evolves from Eevee. Um, you got Roller Skates, pretty normal card. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. If you just card an energy card in this way, draw two more cards. So, you discard a card, and you draw two. But if you discard an energy, you draw four. So it's pretty useful if you discard energy, and you kind of want to discard energy for people with, like, you know, energy absorption on them. And then, Apom. The thing I never got to like, because it was just creepy as hell. Hell when I was a kid, like small as hell, and watched the show with him in it. Just had a tail kind of freaked me out. The fact that he has no fingers and they're instead part of his fleshy appendage of a tail is gross. Scampering tail is his ability. Really? Because he liked to bash the hell out of people in the show. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may put the top card of your opponent's deck on the bottom of their deck without looking at it. So I guess if you fluked out and got like some really powerful card on the top of their deck, like a Mega Charizard, that they, they could Mega Evolve the next turn, and you use that, you would be a hell lucky. And Tail Smack for 20. Um, for this pack, I would have to say, I'm sorry, but Lowland Sandshrew is the goat for this pack. And again, we have our normal little... QR code, which I'll show you the QR codes at the end, so that you can scan them if you guys want, because I'm not a big um, online player. I don't exactly play the online game. So, pack three, which is the Unbroken Bombs with Sylveon and Gardevoir. Both fairy types. And both of them I like incredibly, incredibly much so. Um, first up, we have Oddish. I am sensing that I'm getting a lot of first gen grass types today. Stun Spore. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's Pokemon, act, active Pokemon, sorry, is now paralyzed. Useful. Until the next turn change, where they get out of it instantly and will have a full heal like I do now. And Seed Bomb for 20 damage. Nothing special. We have essentially a Chibi Art of Squirtle. Pretty cute, though, I must admit. It has bubble for 10 damage, and it is essentially what Sun spoils with damage and water type moves, so pretty good. We then have Tentacool with um, Jamie in the background. 
Nice. And Bubble Jutsu. If you play Janie from your hand during this turn, this attack is 50 more damage to the already 10 damage. So, 60 with a card I've never seen been used. We then have Aaron uh, with 60 health. And it's Rigidy. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks after playing Weakness and Resistance. And Melkorth 20. And then, my boys. We got him in the last pack. And we got him in this pack. I'm just saying, right now, I've got the luck of a god playing Saguki. Sandrew, 70 health, with Collect, draw a card. In the smallest print ever, and then rolling attack for 30 damage. Um, ooh, Graveler with rolling rocks for 50 damage and double edge for 90. Except this double edge does 30 damage to gra um, Graveler. Yes, I have Dugong, one of my favorite Pokemon. The I'm gonna win now. I watch a YouTuber called Xylophony. And his favorite Pokemon, Dugong, and then because he was my favorite YouTuber at the time, I like got really into him. And I was like, damn, we're on that next level, boys. We share something. But Dugong has Tail Whap. Tail Whap for 60 damage and dual Blizzard. Would that be like if you used Blizzard twice in one turn in like a double battle? Discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't play weakness or resistance. You could kill two basic Pokemon in one move there. Um, dark energy. Pretty nice, can go with my Absol. Um, Tyrogue has Braddy Kick. Um, once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If you use this ability, your turn ends. Pretty useful. If you get it. Um, Stealthhood. Prevent all effects of your opponent's abilities done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Remove any such existing effects. This is where that card we had before that takes the item away would be hella useful, because you would get rid of this instantly. And Chatot. The bird that literally sings to you and is just annoying as hell. Like, if you sing a she shanty, a sea shanty to this thing, it would repeat it about three times over. It has Mimic! Proves my point. Why does a mime not have the move Mimic, though? It's a bit weird. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a card for each card in your opponent's hand. Tone Death. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and you deal 10 damage at the same time. Now, the best card in this pack for me would either be a mix between Dugong and Sandshrew, which is why they're both going to the top. And they're going to share the spotlight. Equally, of course. And now, the last Cosmic Eclipse. The one with Sog. Sigalio and Lu Screw it, I've got legendary names, even though I've caught them both on numerous occasions. We got Nebby, or Cosmog, because you know, it's called Nebby because it looks like a nebula apparently. Ascension, search a deck for a card that evolves in this Pokemon, put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it, and then shuffle your deck. Costs one psychic energy and has 50 health. Nice. Psyduck, that looks like it's about to explode and cry at the same time. Probably will, let's be honest. Scratch for 10 and Confusion Wave. Both active Pokemon now confused. It confuses itself and then deals 20 damage to the other Pokemon like your opponent's Pokemon and then confuses it and has 60 health. Not complaining, but you know, I'm doing more damage than I'm helping. Trapinch. Nice. Flip a coin. If heads prevent all effects of attack, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Okay, that would be useful. And it's got um, 
30 damage and it's a dig, so pretty useful. We then have another Oddish. It's okay this time though. With Sweet Scent, heal 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Both Oddishes will probably go into my um, Guki deck, pa um, pack deck, which I'll be uploading soonish. And it will just be a card layout too, so you'll see all the cards. Uh, a Rufflet. Fury attack. Flip three coins. This attack does 10 damage for each head. And it does 10, and it's... So if you get three heads, you do 30 damage. And if you get zero heads, you do no damage at all. So it's a big gamble. And it's got 60 health. And Eevee. I can now use my flaming on this. Hella good. Um, lead. Search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Buy it for 20 damage. No caption. And Eevee has 60 health. Energy. Wood are. Just normal. Either gives colorless energy or wood energy. One, two. Heracross. Nice little boy here. Lunge out for 20 damage and Wild Horn for 50 plus. If your opponent has any tag team Pokemon play, this attack does 70 more damage. You do 120 damage if they have a tag team Pokemon active. Oh, oh, here's a little. The card after this is amazing, by the way, I just thought it was. But here's a reference to the game it's an item with HP, Lily's Poke Doll. And this was something she gives you. Closest, close to the end, like when she's saying sales, Kanto. Spoiler alert, sorry. Now, um, play this card as if it were a 30 HP basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your active Pokemon, you may discard all cards from it, then put it on the bottom of your deck. This card can't retreat. If this card is knocked out, your opponent can't take any prize cards for it. This is just a stalling card, essentially. Use it to stall for more cards. And to prevent myself from seeing what my last card is, I'll just draw it upside down. This was the card that after Poke Doll. The Dragon Z Dragon Claw. So you have to use Dragon Claw? Um, if the Pokemon this card is attached to has the Dragon Claw attack, it can use the GX attack on this card. You still need necessary energy to use this attack. Destructive Drake GX, 80 times damage for 3 normal energy. It's got all basic energy from this card. This attack does 80 damage for each card just card in this way. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. So, just do risk cutting the 3 that you need for Destructive Drake. You could do a 240, which essentially wipes it out. And the last card, boys, let's go. Oh my god, guys. I'm getting lucky today. With Silvery GX, and it has Gladion in it. I, I like this card. I'm gonna keep it. Definitely. Um, sadly, I can't use it because I don't have a type null yet. But it has the ability to discard. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may draw cards until you have 5 cards in your hand. And Brave Buddies for 50 plus attack, and it only costs 2 energy. Um... If you play a supporter card from your hand during this turn, this attack does 70 more damage, which is good. If your opponent active Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, it is knocked out. You can't use more than one GX attack in a game. You can just one shot a GX with this card. Like, it doesn't actually matter, you can just kill it, regardless of health. And Silver GX is probably going to be my top for this um, pack. And. Of course, we have the general three that came, which is these guys. I hope Greek is on the mill. They're all pretty good cards. You'll probably see more of them, and I'll probably be doing uh, Greek and um, not Greek, sorry, Sobble and School Bunnies deck packs. But now, if you guys want, just pause the video as I show each and every QR code that I have gained, which is about 5, and I'll tell you what kind of packs I'll get you, so you can estimate what cards you can get. First up is the Sun and Moon's Unbroken Bond, just pause the video when you want to get the 
SQL Uh, next up is a Gal Collection Gooky pack, which is probably what came with behind Hobble. Um, an x -Y Evolutions pack. You know, the one that got us Mewtwo. And the actual good Mewtwo, not the sucky one like my Mega Mewtwo, which has 210 health but does 10 damage. Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. And finally, we have a Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse again. I thought I might be coming. Here you guys are. And see you guys next time. I thought this would have been a short video because I was doing the last pack in 18 minutes, but you know. Extra eight minutes. Who cares? Anyway, see you guys next time. Um, I'm actually going to be uploading soonish. So see ya. Salamonda. Yeah.